Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the Breda 88. We are attacking this column with our three 100 kilo bombs. We dropped them off and we threw them in the correct uh, direction. <laughs> Pretty nice. Then the forward 7.7 take out another vehicle here. And then we're going for this group of targets, which are quite nice as well. Now you're coming from the attacker spawn in this plane, of course this is an attacker, gets the attacker spawn. And uh, in a dive this plane has a nice speed and it has pretty good energy retention as well, so it keeps that speed pretty nicely. So there I could have decided to go back to base to get myself new bombs. I turned around because the tickets went pretty quickly and you see we are already halfway through halfway through the enemy tickets so I turned back and I decided to do some more shenanigans in this plane it's quite possible <coughs> a problem in this plane is as you already seeing it you are um, overheating the engines here we go and the second one on fire you're overheating the engines without whipping this plane does not have web uh, but you don't need web to overheat the engines actually I'm just I just ran it so far and it went into the orange and eventually it would have run into the red of course now we um, uh, lost an engine here we take out another ground target and I think it's time to go back to base no matter what the ticket count is at now this plane is next to being pretty fast and having a nice top speed in the dive it's also pretty agile uh, for a two engined fighter it has, like I said, pretty good energy retention. It also has decent acceleration. It's not fantastic, but it's decent, it's workable. And the turn time is also decent. Uh, like I said, I would call it pretty decent for a, a two-engine fighter, a big one. It's not as good as many of the single-engine fighters, of course, but uh, pretty nice. This plane can also fly reliably on one engine as long as it's working correctly and it can take you back to base. No problem, which is nice because in the current patch it looks like the engines are more vulnerable. Now I have not checked this out and I'm not sure 100% as I've only fl flown the Italians but with the Italians at least it looks like the engines are pretty vulnerable and um, I've already heard some people say in the comments of the last video that this is not only uh, uh, going on with the Italians that it happens with other nations as well now what happens here we have no HUD what's going on Django this was a pretty good match but I forgot to record the first half of it so what you're looking at now is the first half of that match uh, from the replay so some of the aiming might not be uh, looking very good that's because this is the replay and uh, you get a little bit of a sort of a delay in the replay to your aiming uh, people who record regularly know that if you use a uh, replay match in air forces you, you should look at the aim because the aim is off you don't get the same view in a replay from what the the person was actually seeing so you got to take that into account anyway but I still wanted to show it to you uh, as this was uh, quite an interesting and uh, energetic match now we came out of that first strafing run um, and I looked back there I saw several people within three kilometers and we came back from that with four ground targets as I missed my bombs <laughs> on the medium tank unfortunately you saw that thing right there I hope and uh, we went back to base and we saw this guy here this P40 flying uh, after some of my guys who were then chasing him as well after he uh, tried to flee away from the airfield and I thought it was a good opportunity to go and get my first air kill I have him hit several times here but here we do take the wing off and we get the kill almost getting crashed into by two of my allies who came in from behind but we survived the whole ordeal now the the negative sides of this plane as we fly back to the airfield to reload uh, are overheating like I said it overheats without you doing anything for it at 100% so you gotta go take it back to 90% or lower to cool it off it's a big target 
and the engines are huge which are easily hit and they also easily die like I said this is a problem in the current patch with the Italians and if I start to fly other nations again I'm very curious to see if it's a problem with other nations as well despite those negative sides this is a very fun plane to fly uh, with the uh, the bombs it has a three times 100 kilo bomb loadout or a three times 50 kilo bomb loadout they are positioned outside of the fuselage which has a uh, nice special places where which are specially made to fit in the bombs which uh, looks quite nice it uh, probably made to improve the uh, energy retention the acceleration and the performance of the plane but that also limits the amount of bombs that this thing can take it can only take three bombs and it doesn't have an internal bomb bay as we get closer and closer to this uh, f3f we take it out in our final option to shoot which is great that's our third kill and we also have four ground targets we still have our bombs so we're gonna try to throw that again on the medium tank that we missed on the first run we did already get a hit in on that thing though on the first run but uh, we again we lost another engine I haven't played a match in this thing without losing an engine I'm pretty sure that it doesn't have anything to do with my rash decisions. <laughs> Although, of course, I take an aggressive playstyle usually to uh, to find some interesting footage. I cannot uh, fly on 4,000, 6,000, or 8,000 meters and just wait until a target comes that I can safely kill and then just uh, end the match that way. That would be boring as hell. But uh, these engines, yeah. I mean uh, they look nice, this plane looks nice, but um, the engines are very very vulnerable. But oh well, that's life. I hope they tweak that if it's an issue that concerns more nations. But I did have a lot of fun in the plane and uh, for an attacker at this battle rating 2.3 battle rating it sits at in realistic battle it is a fun plane to fly and um, it is an effective plane to fly as well even though you die a lot <laughs> as well with it so uh, we uh, remain at uh, three kills and four ground targets pretty nice result we did get some special rewards, the best squad in anti-mech, 35,000 silver lions and 2,000 research points. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now that was enjoyable, I had a lot of fun flying this plane out. It looks magnificent, it looks like a party plane, I love it. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun to fly, um, you know it's a typical attacker but it, it's quite agile for, for a typical attacker. It has three bombs, not too great. Um, you see that here, it has some special carved out places for that, I guess to improve the performance. And um, no internal bomb bay, it's all on the outside of the plane. Three 100 kilo bombs or three 50 kilo bombs are the options. You have a three 12.7 machine guns with 1250 rounds, which is quite nice. I used an 800 meter convergence in this match because they're all centrally placed anyway the plane has two big engines that quickly die and uh, whether that is something that is due to this patch or that is something uh, specific to the Italians I don't know but all the Italian engines seem to die rather quickly and so is the case with the Breda 88 but uh, all in all I like the plane it's fast it's agile and uh, you can have a lot of shenanigans in this plane guys I hope you enjoyed the review I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber don't forget to like the video do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel